Hey guys, so now Legina is beginning to sound like Jaguar. All the conspiracy theories. She has jumped on the bandwagon. It's not just that R. Kelly and Aaliyah is her parents. Now it's all the conspiracy theories that Jaguar Wright feeds into. She's repeating. She is <laughs> just as foul mouth. She seems to be happy. I hope it stays that way. She has even changed up her hairstyle. And she looks better. You know, she's easy on the eyes now. But she says they're still planning on the DNA. They're still planning on the hypnosis. They're still planning on the interviews on the Roku channel, Daladelphia Network. So Jaguar is forging ahead, folks. This thing that came out that Regina has family, who cares about her, wants her back in Detroit. Jaguar is not concerned. She doesn't have a care in the world. As far as she's concerned, these people don't exist. So a lot of people are saying that the family is going to get the authorities involved if Regina is not returned to Detroit because allegedly the family was trying to get her help when she skipped town. She had just came out of the mental hospital, and she left to go to Jaguar in Dallas. And so the family wants her back to give her treatment, and that's what Legina is afraid of. She does not want to end up back in the hospital. And I'm wondering how is this going to end, folks? Because you got an adult young woman who does not want to be returned to her family. Her family is saying she's mentally ill. By her own admission, she's got schizophrenia. So she's considered a person who should be on the care of someone, whether it's family or the state, but she should be on the care. Uh, I, I know some schizophrenics do live on their own, like she was living on her own. But now that is not the question should she be on her own because she's an adult she have that right but because she's talking about lee as well as r kelly being her parents that is not the norm for someone who is of song mind so that's where the concern lies because i think most people are aware that lee as well as r kelly are not her parents her family believes she was let out of the hospital too soon, and maybe she was faking it so she can be let out early. When in fact, she really needed more care and should have been in that hospital still. The only people who do not know that is this young woman, Legina, and Jaguar Wright. As Jaguar Wright is spinning the same narrative that this young woman is spewing. So guys, you heard it from Legina herself. They're going to pull this poor guy in now, Kirk Franklin's son. It's not a mess, I guess, until you pull everybody in the midst. So I wonder what he has to say about his father. Because Legina said, we are going to be rebelling against our parents. I said, Lord, Jaguar, you need to stop this, honey, before this thing gets out of control and out of hand because the law has strong 
and long arms, okay? You are messing with these people's children. You don't want to do that. Now, I don't know if she honestly believes that or if she's just peddling that story in order to make a buck on the Roku channel, the Dollar network that she's got set up because she's supposed to be interviewing the Gina on that channel. So now a lot of people are saying that she's exploiting this young woman. And it's not really far-fetched to think that way because she does say that she's going to be using her on that channel for content. So really, I don't see this ending well because we know that Jaguar, once she gets her hooks into someone, she don't want to let go. We saw that with Solar um, when her husband wanted Solar out of the house and gone. She was fighting her husband to the nail to keep him. And with this young woman, her family wants her back. And I think Jaguar is going to fight tooth and nail to keep her with her in Dallas or wherever she is. Because now she's on the road, I believe. I'm not even sure where she is. Because one minute she's in Dallas, the next minute she's on the road, driving cross country. So, uh, uh, And she's always saying they're after her. Well, if the Illuminati or anybody in Hollywood was after her, she would be on alive a long time ago because everybody knows her stopping points. When she's in Dallas, everybody knows where she is. She's at her mother's house or in a hotel. All they got to do is just trace the car, trace where she is, sit in front of her mother's house, wait for her to show up, or his mother's house because one out of the two homes you can better sure she's at. So I don't know if she stays at her mother. I think she stays at his mother's house. But my point is, it's not hard to find her. So all this narrative that they're trying to get her. And remember, she is also on psychotropic drugs. She's on medication for her mind because her mind is not right. I don't know if she's schizophrenic also, but I know... She says she has mental issues. And so you have two people who are under this delusion. And in order for this Legina Gold to get help, I think her name is Gold and she changed her, her last name is Gold and she changed it to Love. I'm never, not even sure at this point. There's so many names she's been peddling that she's got me confused with the names. In any event, Jaguar believes <laughs> that R. Kelly and Leah are her parents. Like, I don't know. Maybe y'all don't know what it means to be a Christian. Like, you know. Hey, uh, how y'all doing? I'm just doing what Jesus told me to do. Love everybody, even my enemies. And this girl ain't my enemy. I didn't even know she was praying for me. remember jaguar said she wanted to start carbon island and she would be the the what mistress or the empress or something like that i'm wondering if she's recruiting for carbon island because now she's got this young lady legina they said they're going to be talking to kirk franklin's son who is going to be talking about his father so i'm wondering what is the 411 on all this reaching out to these celebrity kids. 
Well, I'm not saying <laughs> Legina is a celebrity kid. I'm just saying she's reaching out to these young adults. And this is all alleged, but if her goal is to start this carbon island with uh, her own set of young folks, I guess she's got one already, Legina. So, folks, these two have bonded. I don't know if it's a good bonding or not because they have bonded over their psychosis. Pretty much, the both were in the mental institution or mental hospital just about the same time. They both believe that Ali and R. Kelly is Legina's parents. All the conspiracy theories about Jaguar's car being blown up and Beyonce and Jay-Z and all the other people in the industry, Jaguar's belief about them. Now, Legina has taken up the baton and she's running with the stories. So you just got to wonder where will this all end? If the ending is going to be good and if the ending is going to be good, I'm hoping it's going to be a peaceful transition if this young lady have to go back to Detroit. But I don't see Jaguar letting go that easily. So now here is Jaguar talking about Aaliyah's death. We all know what happened in the beginning. We just don't know why it ended the way it ended. I know a lot of people, they got a whole lot of mixed emotions about Dane Dash. People say whatever they want to say about that man. That man loved that woman. I just want the world to know how much she was loved before she was taken away from everyone. I just want people to know that part. I'm sick and tired of the fact that her name will forever be attached to R. Kelly's name. Everything he did to her. Everything he did to that family. You know, I know a lot of people want to blame it all on Barry Hankerson and blame it on the family, but the truth is the music industry is a very confusing place and sometimes things happen without people knowing. There are people that are actively working to keep people in the dark, actively working to constantly change stories, change reality, change everything, and they can do it all with a press release, with just a press release. So I, I don't want to say anything that would um, frame her family in a negative light. I don't, because I don't think I can honestly say I believe they had no idea. Into the and I can tell you right now, it's easy to do if you to get the street girl goes into the studio, she's supposed to be working in the studio. The first couple of sessions, the brother comes, the parents come, everything seems fine, you know, then it's, we're going to be working late, we really got to finish this song. Somebody will drive y'all home, I promise she'll be home right after, and she do come home right after, but nobody asks what happened to her in the car on the way home, or what happened as soon as they left the studio, like, you know what I mean, like, people, y'all don't understand, like, the tactful nature, the tactical nature in which this sex trafficking and, 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 and this child abuse. Y'all don't understand. Like, these people go heavy, man. They go heavy. They'll have uh, the assistant sitting in the kitchen with the mom while they molesting the child in the bathroom, talking about, yeah, we going over music. Boy, yeah, we're practicing a script. Boy, yeah, we need time alone with the child. Like, these niggas is that brave. That they will rape your child while you in the house having expensive coffee and eating crumpets and shit. And your child bleeding out the ass and they're sitting there saying, don't say anything because your mother really needs this money. And if your mother don't get this money, y'all won't be out on the streets. You need to be a good boy or be a good girl. And don't say anything because your mom's going to go to the cops and if she does that, we're going to have her killed. The fuck is a nine-year-old child supposed to do with that kind of explosive information? Like, like I said, it's not my story to tell, but it should be told by her brother or by Dave. 
Y'all need to know how amazing she really was. Y'all need to know what she really overcame. Y'all need to know the strength that came behind all of that sweetness and all of that grace. And she was tough. Survived the stuff that she survived. She was tough. And nobody knew the real story. Aaliyah's untimely demise changed a lot in my mind. I was angry at first. Why is she so stupid? Why would she get on that plane with all that luggage? Why she got to be so vain? The, the luggage could have came late. As much money as she had. But see, what nobody really got told about that story, and it's only been mentioned in a few documentaries, is that the reason why she was in such a rush to leave the island was because someone had called her and told her that Damon Dash was had been in a, in a nearly fatal accident and he was on his deathbed and she had to rush to Miami to be by his side. That's how much she loved him and she was willing to put her life on the line for it. See? If somebody called me and told me that my husband was about to die, I would do whatever I got to do to get there. And from what I was also told from other people that were going to shoot, packing all that luggage on the, the plane wasn't her idea either. She was told because the the, the the rap, you know, the video had wrapped that all of their belongings had to leave right then, that she couldn't leave them behind, that nothing, they had to take everything with them, knowing that there was already almost a thousand pounds worth of human on that plane, and then like 800 pounds of luggage. They said, well, if you got to go right now, you got to take all your stuff with you right now. And she was willing to risk it just to be with Dave. And I believe Dane, in the uh, uh, interview that he had done, maybe five or six years ago, he said he never sent that phone call to summon her to Miami. He never had his assistant call her for any reason, and he wasn't even in Miami. Aaliyah got a phone call that the love of her life was about to die in Miami, and he wasn't even in Miami, and the call, the call came from his assistant which didn't exist either. And Fatima, the choreographer, heard that phone call because she mentioned it too. In an interview, she never mentioned it again. She got a phone call from a person that wasn't real about a situation that had never happened, being summoned to a place where her fiancé was not and forced to leave with all of her belongings if she left right there, which would put the plane in danger. I don't know where I come from. That that sounds like a setup. Like the, the pilot was a crackhead, a former crackhead, and even he, the crackhead, didn't want to go along with it, but he was told that he had to because he was under contract. Somebody went through a lot of trouble to make sure that that girl got on that plane and that that plane, like I said, it's not my story to tell. But I'll be damned, there's a lot of people that benefited from Aaliyah being gone. A lot of people made it that wouldn't have made it if Aaliyah was still around. And I'm not so big on the idea of conspiracy theories, but typically the way I see things is if you want to know who the masterminds are behind something, all you have to see is the person who benefits the greatest. That's the person that has the most motive to make sure people get moved around, the person that has the most to gain. In this business, that could be anybody. On the wrong day, it could be everybody. Ask Tory Lane about what it's like to be hated by everybody. People don't even know why. Not the real reasons why. So, guys, that's the story that Jaguar is telling this young lady. And that's a story she's been saying for years. But let's get back to what's going on with Legina because now she's in Jaguar Skier in Texas or wherever they are. And everybody's very concerned over this young lady's health. But I'm wondering why haven't her brother or some immediate family step forward and speak? Her brother, according to the sister-in-law, does not want to be in social media spotlight. And this is why he refuses to come forth. Now, nobody else in the family came forth and spoke on her behalf. So I'm wondering if this young woman is actually running game on Jaguar. Because we're thinking Jaguar is running game on her. 
and maybe it's vice versa. The sister-in-law sounded legit to me when I heard the video, but who knows? Maybe they're fake too. Who knows? Because there's a woman, a young woman, who said that she was Legina's sister, and then she backed off and said, no, she's not. So when I heard that, I said, well, <laughs> maybe these people are fake too. Who knows? But what I do know is this woman, this young woman is very impressionable. She's very easily swayed because of her mental illness. She doesn't have a backbone to really stand up against the pressures of what's to come. Jaguar is a very strong individual. And she's saying a lot about these celebrities. Now, relationally, when this young woman came forth, she was only talking about a Leonard Kelly. And now you should hear her. If you hear her, she's talking about all the stuff that Jaguar is talking about. Like if she is her shadow and she is her mouthpiece and is mimicking exactly what she's saying. So she's very easily swayed. So Night and Day Network did an interview with Legina. And, and by the way, they're distancing themselves also. But they did an interview with her. And this is what Legina, as well as Jaguar, said. It says all that stuff. So I would rather it just been live. Now, with, now from or me, only the only ones doing it. And then I have to based off what they're telling me. Just like the uh, the girl that was claiming to be my sister, she wanted me to go have a DNA test with her. And then yesterday, she just posted on my comment and saying, yeah, I, I, yeah, you're right. I'm not your real sister, and I hope you have a good life. And da 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 you guys all see it for yourselves, the DNA testing and also the hypnosis and whatever else that we need to broadcast. So this part is night and day during the interview. So what do you have to say to some people, people don't want the thing is I, I know how it sounds crazy, but I'm just going off my memories. I'm remember, remembering my mom and my dad. So saying this to be funny, Paul. Yeah. I see the cash apps coming through. I want to acknowledge, thank you. But we ain't nowhere yeah, near God. we ain't nowhere near enough. So Jaguar said they're nowhere near enough. My question is, what is enough? When you meet a couple of thousand, what is enough? And like a lot of people are saying now, Legina have her own cash app on her page. Why isn't the money going to Legina? Why is Jaguar collecting the money? Is she now the caregiver of Legina? Why does she have to control the money? Why not the money go directly to Legina so she can take that money and start establishing herself in a new state? Like purchase a car to get around, to look for a job, have her little apartment, get her little toiletries and clothes, etc. Why does the money have to go to Jaguar Wright? Like if Legina cannot handle money, she was handling money in Detroit by herself. She had a job. She had an apartment. She had a vehicle. She was working. So why does Jaguar feel as though all the money should be coming to her? And this is why people are saying she's using this young woman. And let me tell you something. You do not play with people like that. The mentally ill, you're not to play with. God don't like ugly. He ain't too keen on beauty either. But especially when you are doing wrong, like Jaguar seems to be doing. Allegedly. That wrath of God is going to come down hard on her. The hammer is going to be swift and hard. And I don't know why people are sending money to Jaguar. If they want to send money, they should send it directly to this this young woman, Legina. She's the one who needs the money. Another thing is, what kind of life is this young woman living right now out of a car? At the time this interview was done, she was in a car. If you guys see the background, she's sitting on the passenger side of the car. I mean, what kind of life is this? It's all well and good. It's all well and good for Jaguar and Goomba. But you're talking about a young woman who needs certain things. 
she needs to be in a different environment. And clearly, Jaguar is not the one to provide a clear-headed and a clear mind thinking when it comes to this subject matter because she can't tell the forest from the trees because all she sees is the money. You, you guys heard her when she says she sees the cash app rolling in, but it's not nearly enough. Her focus is on money and she can get it through this young woman. I think, honestly, someone should call the authorities. Even if they don't do anything, at least there would be some options. They can provide some options for this young woman because clearly Jaguar is using her. Allegedly. Anyway, guys, this does not look good. I don't know how it's going to end up. But something clearly needs to be done because clearly Jaguar Wright is not only using this young woman for content. Allegedly. But she's using her to make a buck with cash donations. So drop your comments. I'm over and out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel and to this video. Thank you for watching.